Welcome to Power Up. I am your host, Paul Chapel. And guys, it's been a long time since I updated you on the Epic Games versus Apple lawsuit drama. Well, mostly because it's gotten pretty boring and I didn't want to bore you with the details, but it got kind of interesting a couple days ago. And I'm, I'll get to that in a minute, but let's, let me update you on a few things, a few court filings that have happened uh, since we last talked about this subject. On September the 5th, Epic filed for a preliminary injunction against Apple in an attempt to force the iPhone maker to bring Fortnite back to the App Store. And it doesn't look like it's going to go uh, well because, as I mentioned in one of my last videos, the judge has already told Epic Games that they can resubmit Fortnite to the App Store with the changes that Apple wants without affecting their lawsuit. So uh, there's really no reason why Epic can't, can't just comply with Apple at this point, but they're just doing it because they're, I guess they're just dumb because there's no, I, I really can't understand why they would want to continue to do this because one of the other things uh, that we found out on, uh, when was this? September the 8th is that iOS is pretty much the biggest portion of the Fortnite player base. How big, you ask? Well, let's look into that. Right here, it says, but in the new filing, Epic argues that more than its reputation has been harmed. Daily active users on iOS have declined by over 60% since Fortnite's removal from the App Store. Epic says iOS is the biggest platform for Fortnite too. 116 million Registered users, or nearly a third of the 350 million registered users, Epic says Fortnite has attracted in total. It also claims 63% of Fortnite users on iOS access Fortnite only on iOS, and that it's the only way for many people to play the game. So there you have it. Apple uh, went ahead and made a countersuit uh, against Epic Games on uh, September the 8th, seeking damages from the studio for its breach of contract. The move came, was in response to their preliminary injunction. And Apple put the value of uh, Fortnite in these terms. Apple revealed in the filings that Epic has made more than $600 million from the App Store. Okay, let's just, just do some quick math. That, uh, that's what Epic Games made after Apple got their 30% cut. So that means that roughly Fortnite has made around $850 million off the iOS platform. And my God, I am in the wrong freaking business. But it gets better. You know why it gets better? Because this judge just doesn't like Epic. And I'm going to read exactly what she says uh, during this argument. Judge Gonzalez Rogers looks skeptically at many of Epic's claims, explicitly telling the company several times in the hearing she was not persuaded by its arguments or its strategy. It goes on to say that Epic knew they were breaching the contract of Apple, so they were dishonest. You did something. This is the judge speaking. You lied about it by omission, by not being forthcoming. That's the security issue. That's the security issue, Gonzalez Rogers told Epic. There are a lot of people in the public who consider you guys heroes for what you, you guys did, but it's still not honest. Wow. The judge really doesn't like them. It also goes on to say, Epic argued it also cites Apple's in-app payment system as an example of illegal tying when a company bundles two products together for an anti-competitive gain. Now, let me explain to you what's going on here. Uh, in the early aughts, Microsoft was sued by a browser maker called Netscape. Ever heard of them? Well, that's, that's why, because... 
Microsoft put them out of business. Okay, but they sued Microsoft saying Microsoft tied Internet Explorer to Windows, which they actually did. There were two distinct products that you had to use when you booted up a, a Windows because how else are you going to get on the Internet? So, But the, the, the problem here is that Microsoft never gave uh, the users another option to install another browser. So that was the argument. Uh, ultimately, Microsoft still ties uh, those products together. I, I don't think they do that in Europe, though. I think the EU sued them and they have to present uh, a selection of browsers upon startup. But in the United States, they still do this. But, okay, so this is what essentially Epic is saying in this statement that Apple's doing the same thing. They're tying their in-app payment system with their app store. But, and, and here again, they're talking about the judge here, but there is no time going on with Apple's in-app payment system, Gonzalez Roger observed. It's, I'm not particularly persuaded, she said, of the in-app payment mechanism. I just don't see this as a separate and distinct product. Nor did the judge buy Epic's argument that Apple has harmed the distribution of Fortnite because of Apple's exclusive control of the iOS app store. Fortnite players on iOS have a variety of choices to access the game, even if it is no longer available on iOS, she said. Now, that's another good point that I've actually made. You can also, you can play Fortnite on Google. And another point I made, Android has more market share than iOS. So they can't really say that Apple has a monopoly on the cell phone market because they don't. But this is the real, this is the really great part of this article. This is the one, the, the line I've been waiting for somebody to say. And she said it eloquently. Now let me go ahead and read it. Wall gardens have existed for decades, she said. Nintendo has had a wall garden. Sony has had a wall garden. Microsoft has had a wall garden. What Apple's doing is not much different. It's hard to ignore the economy economics of the industry which is what you're asking me to do so yeah doesn't look good here they she just essentially said what i've been saying all along if this lawsuit succeeds it's going to destroy the console market it's going to oh my god it's going to destroy so many uh markets that 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 exist right now the whole licensing market that that all the console makers have, they're going to have to compete with other companies that want to put their their games on those consoles. I mean, what if Sony says, hey, I, uh, why can't our game play on the Xbox and vice versa? So here's the thing, though. Microsoft has actually came out in support of Epic uh, because they didn't, couldn't get their cloud services to work on iOS. So I think Microsoft is going to be pulling back from their support uh, when they realize that, you know, siding with Epic is going to create problems for the Xbox in the future. So, yeah, I don't see this going very well for Epic. I just don't understand what their strategy is. And the judge has already said that uh, this a lawsuit is not even going before a jury until late next year. So they stand to lose a lot of money if, if, if they lose. So I, you know, I don't know what to say. I mean, it's, it's, it's really looking crazily, crazy, crazy stupid uh, for Epic to continue uh, as they have. At the very least, they should just go ahead and submit Fortnite back to the App Store with the changes that Apple made because like the judges already told them once again it won't affect the lawsuit going forward. But uh, I don't know. I'm not. Hey. Epic is worth what? $17 billion? So I'm not even close to that. Not even 1% of that. So I don't know what I'm talking about, apparently. Because, well, anyway, from a monetary uh, perspective, but from a legal standpoint, uh, they, they, I think Epic needs to get new lawyers. Okay, but that's, that's it. That's it. I, I really don't have much more to say about this. 
It's not looking good for Epic. I'd like to thank my subscribers. Encourage you. Hit that subscribe button. Give me a like, dislike. Tell me what you think down in the comments. Am I wrong? Is there something that I'm leaving out? Are you a lawyer? Do you know more, much more about antitrust than me? Can you tell me why I'm wrong? Let me know in the comments. I really would like to hear it. So, uh, and, and also, if you're already subscribed, hit that bell so you know when my next video drops. And I will see you when I see you. Thanks for watching.